In this video, we're gonna talk about Kinoflow mimics and how they work with subframe virtual production. You're watching VP Land. Special thanks to our sponsors, Blackmagic, Vue, and Lucidlink for helping make our NAB coverage possible. And now, back to the video. So we are here with Ramiro, who wrote the original paper that the demo of the uh, virtual projection tech demo that we have in our other video is based on. So Ramiro, tell me kind of what the paper is that you wrote and the science yeah. behind it. So originally there was another white paper on virtual production with 702110. It got lost. We had this inside the white paper. It got lost. But that's how we started doing this uh, workflow. Mm -hmm. The idea is always productions, any production right now is doing green screen no matter what, even if they're doing LED screen. They ended up doing rotoscoping at the end of the day. So why not having both? You got green screen for your production, and then you have another part for, for the actor so it doesn't get lost in the green screen, all right? The, the first part is the, the most important, which is gonna be for post-production. You record all the metadata on camera tracking, everything that is involved in this production, and then you go to post-production and create the perfect render from Unreal to, to Nuke, to any other platform, but it's gonna be a perfect render, right? Uh, also happens with, with camera tracking, that you always have some delay. That delay in post-production is zero, right? So you reshift everything to, to the exact, exact time. So you're saying, and the metadata knows what the delay is, and so exactly. you can just shift it later? So okay. that's where the metadata and the paper on 2110 was important because you got 2110 uh, delta times where it's perfect. Uh -huh. it's, it's to, to the micron, right? So that difference always uh, you're going to offset later. Camera tracking, a render, right? Uh -huh. Everything is going to go blend together. Mm -hmm. And what role, I mean, because you're with Kinoflow and we're using the, the mimic lights here, how important are the, the mimic lights in, the, uh, in this process? Yeah, so what we're doing is we turn off the lights when we have the green screen, we turn off the light when we have the projector. So in that way, you allow the projector to be brighter, basically, okay? And the green screen, uh, it becomes like a, a, a plain green screen, mm -hmm. right? And also with the IBL. Mm -hmm. So the IBL, it, it keeps perfect for, for the green screen, but when you have to go to the projector, you turn it off so everything is dark, basically, uh -huh. for the projector. Did you want to talk about any, how it's all syncing together? Or? Right now we have the mimics are running at 240 frames. So this literally is one frame, okay? Uh, running at 30,000 hertz, and each one of the subframes you can see here is 1.12 milliseconds. In that way, we switch between subframes so it's not flickering to the eye. And that's okay. the biggest problem when, when you try to do something like this, you're going to have the flicker. Because this is technically an LED panel, mm -hmm. we can do all those subframes without any problem. Can you integrate any other lights in this setup, or uh, does it have to so be uh, the mimic? The short answer is no. The, the long answer is we're moving forward this kind of uh, technology to do all the other lights. So currently, right now, if you need to like light your subject, you would have to just bring in more mimic lights. Yes, that's pretty much it. Yeah, okay. that's pretty much it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cool. But developing to bring in other lights. In the yeah, future. because you know it, it, there are multiple lights that you might need. So that's that's where we're going in that direction, pretty much. Cool. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Appreciate the time. Thank you. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and thanks again to our sponsors for helping make our NAB coverage possible. For more NAB videos, be sure to check out our playlist with all of our NAB coverage. Catch you in the next episode.